Oh my god. I just choked on Haptaki. I think this might be. <laughs> I hate this one. I hate this one for sure. I don't even know if I'll try it on. Hi guys, welcome back to the vlog. I <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, I'm dead. I just finished filming an Amazon must-have favorites video I've never filmed one of these before and I've watched so many of them And I also am like an alarming consumer of just like online shopping and it was finally my time to share all of my favorites So it's like a combination of like tech stuff and fashion and beauty and accessories and DIY stuff I think it's like 20 to 25 things. I kind of lost count by the end of it But that is coming out this weekend. I'm not entirely sure when this will go up So it'll be around ish the same time but watch for for that because I'm excited and I now have a massive disaster of things to put away now that the video is done filming. So that is the current update. Oh my god, also I have to show you this plushie right here. It's kind of a gag gift but also was something that I saw on Amazon after looking for squishmallows on Amazon. I just like prepare yourself. It is so fucking immature and I'm aware of that but it's just so funny and again immature and funny and immature and also kind of adorable. I can't, I can't. We filmed a new episode of Wild Till Nine last night for next week and I just like, no context, held the penis pillow the entire time because it was just like, I was like, this will be funny in the comments. So get excited because he will be in the next podcast and also in the Amazon favorites video and now also in this vlog. In the house, not entirely sure where he's gonna go, but I also go on for Mia because I feel like this is also just, you know, with the whole OnlyFans thing, I feel like this is very much like her vibe now. So as a match birthday present for the both of us. Some influencer friend duos get each other like matching Gucci, matching Dior, matching Cartier. I got us matching penis pillows and I don't think that it gets better than that. Hello, the lighting is shitty. We're going to the US Open as spectators, not as players. I wanna be very, very clear. But this, this is a good ass angle. I'm a little worried for the safety of the camera, but it's gonna be fine. It's gonna be totally fine. We're at tennis lessons. Again, US Open going, spectating, not playing. There it is. <sighs> Cardio, not good. Pimple in between my eyebrows, also not good. <sighs> Hello, hi, home from tennis. I feel like I should give more context because going to the US Open is like a very big deal and I am so excited. So we are going with Wilson and obviously Wilson, like biggest name ever in tennis. And I don't know, it's because they saw my super all-star tennis skills on Instagram or the vlog, but they invited us to go. So we are going, I can't remember which game it is specifically, but I am so fucking excited. You guys know that I have been on a tennis journey for like the last eight-ish months maybe, and it has been so much fun. It's in New York, so we'll be going to New York in a few weeks. I have a very love-hate relationship. It's mostly hate, to be honest. I usually am going to New York for something really fun, so I love the events. I love seeing the friends that I have in New York, which is honestly mostly just Brandon Wolfel. I don't really have that many friends in New York, if we're being honest. This city is very stressful for me. I, being an anxious person, do not thrive in that environment, but we're only going for four days, so it'll be the perfect amount to like go do a few things, go to our US Open game, wear some cute tennis shit, honestly. Like, I know tennis skirts are popular in like regular style things, but like to work out in a tennis skirt is so cute. It doesn't feel appropriate when I do boxing twice a week to like wear a tennis skirt, but I feel cute as shit when I'm playing tennis in a skirt. I feel so cute. So obviously we'll be vlogging the entire trip. I'm so excited, happening in a few weeks, and now you guys know. It just got confirmed literally today and I am very excited. Hi guys, oh my God, I have had such a stressful morning in like the dumbest first world problem kind of of way. So I am going to a movie screening tonight with Remy and Ollie. And so screening usually just means that like you go, you watch the movie, it's like very chill. And like sometimes there's like drinks and snacks and stuff. It's like very, very chill. So like I wasn't even thinking about what I was gonna wear. And then I found out that like Addison Rae is gonna be there. Um, We're going to see the He's All That movie. And so it's not a premiere. And normally premieres are like a big deal. Like you get styled, you do your makeup, blah, blah, blah. it's like fancy and it's a whole thing. And so this is kind of falling in the middle 
middle ground between a premiere and a screening and me having not been to an event in like a fucking year and a half and also not buying like dresses and event clothes in a year and a half your girl has sweatpants out the ass but like event dresses I have nothing I have nothing so this is literally like my least favorite thing ever having to find something to wear under pressure at the mall it's just not it's not it's not it for me it's not it and the other issue is that changing rooms are closed in so many of the stores right now so I also was just like panic buying so many different things so anyways we're gonna do a haul I haven't tried anything on yet so I have no idea what the fuck I'm wearing tonight and obviously like I look like this right now so we're gonna need a major glow up I will say though that I had like a massive cystic pimple happening right here and it's managed to like suck itself back into my face and I'm very excited about it okay let's do a haul so forever 21 actually did have open fitting rooms but I really only found one option anyways that I didn't mind I did get really cute shoes there so I needed some just like plain gold hoops got these cute whatever basic these shoes were so cute they only had one pair left and they happened to be in a five and a half I already have a similar style in black and like a sage green but I don't really have any white shoes right now I did a massive heel purge a few months ago and I probably need to buy some more just like basics in like a sand beige color Color, a black and like a few more white ones. Okay, so here's the first outfit. We'll try it on in a sec. I don't know. I don't know. I love this color, but I, I don't know how I feel about the shape. So here is the top. It's very cute. I don't know what the vibe is. Like this would actually be really cute with boyfriend jeans and heels. Like that could be cute. It's a really cute color. Like it's not reading as greeny sage as it is in real life. So this top, it's got kind of like the bandana point in the bottom. And I don't love how it pairs with this skirt. So matching color, very cute, but it's more like a skater skirt style. I kind of wish that the top of it was just like flat at the bottom. We'll try it on again and see how it measures up against the other options. I don't even know what I bought at this point. Like I truly blacked out and was just panic buying everything that was in my size. Okay, so this is from Fashion Q. I've never bought anything from this store before, but they had a lot of options. I have no idea what I bought. Like I'm liking at this now. I'm like, what did, what did I buy? What What is all this? Okay, so, oh, okay. Okay, so this one is cute. I have this dress from, I can't remember what video it came from, but it had like a really cute, like little top cut out shoulder thing, but I don't love the dress that goes underneath of it. So this could potentially be an option to go with like that shoulder portion of a dress. Just like plain black and it's got like some scalloping at the top. And either way, like this is a basic dress that's like pretty thick and I think will like hug my body in a hopefully warm fitting, flattering way. This will have a life outside of just just tonight for sure since it's so basic. Okay, oh my God. Literally just ripping things off hangers. Like it's not even the right side out. There's a lot of like ruching and tying styles in stores right now. And like, that's fine. So I feel like it can definitely be flattering. So here we go. I've got this one. It's got some cutouts on the side. Hopefully they're in a flattering spot. So we will find out soon. <coughs> oh my God. <coughs> I just choked on Haptaki. I think this might be. I hate this one. I hate this one for sure. I don't even know if I'll try it on. This is what it looks like. See, like maybe with the right shoes, it could be classy or like a leather jacket at some point. I don't know. I think that this is, I don't know. Guys, let me know. Is this tacky? Okay, so that's an option. Okay, so here's the front. It's got some ruching in the middle. But is this like too cheap looking? Like, let's be real. It was cheap. I think this was like $15. $18.99. A steal. Cute top though, like cute front. This could be a bathing suit cover up. I don't know. Okay, so that's an option. Maybe it'll be really flattering though. This one is a really cute color. Again, some like gathering ruching at the sides and then just like a tie up here pretty color we'll see if it's flattering so oh my god i thought i had more options but that's it that's it i, I really like don't love any of them so far at all <sighs> The good news is though, is that I was able to get another shade of my foundation. So I've been using the Rare Beauty Liquid Touch Weightless Foundation. And as you can see, like, I don't know if you can see the difference between my leg color and my face or even like my hand color. Oh my God, like, yeah, that's like my hand color to my face. Like my face, obviously, because I wear sunscreen in the sun is not the same color. <gasps> Oh my God, oh fuck, I hope I did go dark enough. I upped the color of my foundation in hopes of getting a better match to the rest of my body because I'm aware that I've been very two different races from like here and up and here and down. So hopefully that'll help with the glow up of today. Let's try some stuff on. Incoming tippy tappies. Okay, here's dress option number one. I don't hate this one. I genuinely could not figure out if I was wearing it properly. I definitely still have to like adjust some things here. And I think it only makes sense that it like crosses around 
around your neck to keep this happening, it's fine. Seven out of 10 maybe. Ugh. Okay, I made the mistake I think of getting like a knee length dress. Now it looks I'm going to some kind of like ball. This is not it. I love this color though and this neck is really, really cute. Usually like whatever this shape is is not flattering on me, but I actually kind of like this one. It's got like a nice open back. The booty looks pretty good for the small booty that I do have. And like, I think because there's already so much fabric like happening on the sides, I don't think I can just like hike it up even more because I think that'll just be like, like that feels like a lot. Like, you know how like a mummy gets wrapped in a ton of that like white wrapping? It kind of looks like I've just been wrapped in a shit ton of whatever color this is. This one is really not as tacky as I thought it was gonna be. Like, it's not great, don't get me wrong, but I really thought this was gonna be like very terrible. I don't love the positioning of like this one stripe down the middle of it. I feel like that's not super flattering, but if this was the only thing I had to wear tonight, I would not be super, super mad. I think we might have a winner. It's not great. Like, I'm not in love with it, but it's fine. It's uh, so fucking good. Thanks, boob. Are you kidding? It's okay. What part of it is not amazing? Ugh, it's oh, fine, it's fine, that's so nice. Thank you so much. The neck is good. There's not like like stress of booby slippage. It's got like a little bit of that like floppy. There's some cutouts on the side. These are fine. It's like it's not in like the worst spot. Like it's not like it's like right here or anything. It's on like a like decent length flattering spot. Good length, decent fit. Booty looks amazing. Fine. <laughs> Good. What's the fitness girl? They go like this and then they hold their other hand and they, they go like this secretly and they, oh yeah, there it is. And they hold it up like, oh my God. <sighs> okay, this is it. Here's the green one. I like this one too. I like this one too, I actually do. Maybe, fuck! Okay, well, we've got two mediocre options that I won't be mad at. This one's honestly a little more comfy because it's not so form fitting. Ugh, I wish I could have you guys just like vote on a live poll. Jeremy voted black dress. Hello, okay, time for a glow up. Also, I didn't realize this. I'm wondering now if you can see this the entire time. I tried on this really sparkly dress and it ended up being perfect for a Halloween costume I'm planning. And also, yes, I'm planning Halloween already. I started seeing all these Halloween related TikToks and I was like, oh fuck, it's like, we're doing it. We're doing it now. It's like, okay, okay. So I've got two costumes planned and I like don't even know what kind of format I want to do for Halloween this year. So anyway, I tried on a really sparkly dress and it was like shitting sparkles everywhere over my entire body and I don't mind a little body glitter. Like, let's be honest. But like, this is straight up face glitter. Like, I almost feel like I need to get like a lint roller. I didn't realize how much fucking glitter was on my face. Oh, also I want to film a TikTok where I need to be like not cute at the beginning and then my glow up will be like the second part of the TikTok. So I guess I need to film that now but here's the before and also I've got the new foundation so I'm super hoping it's the right color I like didn't do a color match which probably wasn't this oh shit this looks really dark we have to do a little mixing we'll see okay I'm gonna film this TikTok okay Outside of my entire top lip being covered with foundation and doing lip liner and lips foundation match pretty good Like obviously this is really really dark, but like I don't want to be too crazy like it, it's not too bad It looks natural. I feel like in per in person in real life. Okay, let's fix this hair. Oh my god. Hello Oh my god. I'm late. I'm late. I'm super late. There's a brush. Okay. Oh my god. I'm ready Okay hair slicked into a little pony to the side here. She is I've got hoops on I've got boobies falling out makeup is done. We've got lips on Foundation is off my lips, okay, okay. Oh my god! My downfall of tonight, one, was trying to vlog the entire thing, and two, my camera dying, and three, forgetting that I have to steam my entire fucking outfit because it's from Forever 21, and it is not real silk. Here's the final look. Oh my god, boobs. Okay, maybe this, I wonder if there's gonna be a problem tonight. This feels as if it may be a problem. I'm not gonna bring the vlog camera, but I will vlog on my phone, I promise, and movie review to come as soon as I get home. Also, I don't know if Remy's gonna make it, so it may just be a me and Ollie night tonight, and I'm very excited. Either Either way, regardless, okay, I'm late. Goodbye, see you soon. Are you nervous, Lauren? I haven't taken a photo in so fucking long. <laughs> My Forever 21. I can't wait to see you Forever on the carpet. Forever 21 on the red carpet. This is the first time I'm watching you do your thing. I don't have any poses. Just make sure you give them different angles. I'm gonna give them just a hand on the hip. <laughs> My go-to. <laughs> yes, Lauren. Look who's here! This bitch almost didn't make it. Oh yeah, get the light, get the light. That's so light. nice. Wow. Wow, actually that's like really good lighting. Thank you so much. Talking like good lighting. Turn on you oh yeah, hang on, hang on. Wow. Wow, the lighting. Hello, no, Cordia Love you. Wow. Love you. <laughs> oh, little sun, little flare. Wow. Wow. 
Yeah. Tell them about your old building. Oh my god. Wait, okay, yeah, I used to live. I can see my old building from here. Hang on, oh my god, this is a really bad, this is, this is all bad. Hello, back in the same spot, except for now it's like six hours later, just got home. Makeup and hair, honestly, even the lip liner and the lip gloss, so many hours later, it's like, I've had a snack, I've had a drink. These lips look good, oh my God. And he had such a good time. Honestly, it was so much fun. I haven't hung out with Remy and Ollie. We have a group chat that we talk incessantly in every single day. And so we haven't got to hang out in so long. So tonight was so much fun. Truly my first event in so long. Like I cannot remember the last time that I went to an event like this, had a great time. Also ended up doing the like red carpet, which was not the plan as you guys saw in like the iPhone footage that I used. So like a little Forever 21 on the red carpet moment. We love that for me. I think my album was a total of like $28 if that. Movie review, I feel like I can't give away too much, but it was super, super cute. There was one specific dance battle that was the highlight of the movie for me, but all around a very cute movie. And I'm always just like so impressed when someone who comes from like digital and kind of just gets famous out of nowhere and most likely did not grow up with any kind of like acting training is able to kind of just like flip over into that role and just like act in a whole ass movie. So that is the night these hoops can come off. Also thank God that I went up like those three shades in the foundation because even in the like red carpet photos, I can still tell. And it's, it's also too like partially the flash they use on those cameras is super bright and like flood your face. Oh my God, like thank God that I went up in like multiple shades in that foundation because oh my God. All right guys, I am going to end the vlog here. I hope you enjoy this hectic day with me. Hello. Go ahead and end your vlog. I just, I'm just over here. Don't mind me. Just being tall, headless guy in the vlog. What's new? That's so nice. Do I get um performer credit? No. Does this qualify for my SAG after insurance? No. Hmm. Hmm. But uh, royalty cut. No. Bye guys, love you. Bye. <laughs> All right, guys, end of the long now. I will see you in the next one.